I'm playing Rochelle, aren't I? Yep. Let's be careful and start picking off zombos. Oh shit. Got him. He's got goodies. Yes, that particular zombo is carrying goodies. What is that guy doing? Right, so. Oh shit. Where the hell have these guys come from? Right, so let's see what goodies that guy was carrying. So you, so you can't wait to see it, but I am well out of practice with crowning witches. And you know, I've got to get lucky and get the correct shotgun. Because the best shotgun to have is the chrome shotgun, because that has a narrower spread. So it's m the way the way you've got to do it is it's it's all about timing. Is you've got to be quick and accurate. Is you've got to crouch. You've got to run up to the witch with your light off. Because if your light's on, it, it makes us startle faster than if you have your light switched off. I mean, she's kneeling down. Right, where's that smoker gone? Smokers like to climb up to high places to vantage points. Let's make sure he's not run around. Sorry, oh, there he is, yep. Exactly what I thought would happen. But yeah, so, it's the way to crown a witch. You've got to get a shotgun. Get right up to her. Like, basically within touching distance. You have to get right close. Ah, oh, it's not the right shotgun. So you got it ideally the right shotgun. So ideally a chrome shotgun because it's got the narrower spread. But you have to get right say next to the witch, you have to get right up to her, crouching, as she's standing up, shoot her in the chin, like straight up in the throat. And Hopefully, if you if you've aimed it right, every single shotgun pellet goes straight up into her head, and should that should be a thousand points of damage, and that should kill her. Um, it should be enough to one shot kill her on expert difficulty. It's a lot easier to do on normal difficulty, obviously, because you've got less health. More junk. God, this guy's upgraded his stash of junk from... Oh, man. 
It's got two full lockers of it in two rooms. Just... It's got a problem, man. Bullshit. Let's go beat these guys away. Yeah, hopefully we'll find another shotgun. There's a lot of enemies here. So, this kind of gives me hope. Come on. Come on. I mean, they did not help me whatsoever. They did not help me whatsoever. But yeah, I was, I was thinking it gives me a little bit of hope. The amount of enemies that were there, that pff, there would be no tank. Well, I guess I squandered that opportunity. Typical. Right, now where's the guy with the kit? Is there, is there even a kit guy? I mean, this, I mean, this is just straight up a worse setup of guns. Maybe I'll get a slightly better shotgun, though. That's the trade-off that I've got to hope for. Because that, because that pump shotgun is not brilliant. I think it's the lowest damage shotgun, and it's got a relatively wide spread. I guess the chrome shotgun's better, um, simply because the spread is much tighter. I mean, this is this is going well. What? Where's that smoker? What? How the hell's he managed that? Through the hedge. Okay. Well, this is this is not going too well. Now you might be thinking, why was I complaining when I wasn't getting helped? When I was getting ripped up by a hunter. But when Alice was being choked out, chrome shotgun, but when Alice was being choked out by a smoker, I wasn't helping. Uh, the answer is because Alice doesn't matter as much as I do. <laughs> He's an N he's a, he's an AI character. He's an NPC. I am the player character. If I die, the run ends. If he dies, I can soldier on. It's gonna hunker down here, I think. I mean that's one of the things that I like about I liked about Back for Blood is if a player character died and there were AI characters, NPCs in the group, you could simply assume control of one of the AI characters. 
and continue playing. Ooh, pipe bomb. So I'm suspecting a tank may be imminent. So I'm saving my shotgun shells. I'm carrying this fuel can. Because fire is incredible against tanks. Fire damage does lots of lots of lovely passive damage. I mean, everybody likes getting stuff for free, right? Fire damage is free damage on a tank. There's the tank. Knew it. I knew it. Right. Gotta be careful. Nope, shit. It's gotta be careful because one wrong move, one car is just death. This is all about kiting. Wait, see how much help a fire is against a tank. That, that, that was a lot smoother than I expected. A lot smoother. I'll tell you that for free. When I did this last time, tanks, early tanks, were giving me all sorts of grief. Oh shit. This sounds like a pipe like a like an opportunity to use a pipe bomb. Save my shotgun shells. It also helps if you don't shoot cars. So I'm, I'm let them Yeah it's No not me oh whatever I tried to give coach some pills Oh shit that's a got that's the loot guy Where did he go? He should have dropped something. Shit. Okay. Well, let's just continue. I've gotten past the worst of it. Has got to be more careful of cars. I say with confidence that getting past the tank as smoothly as that means that I've gotten through the objectively the worst of it, and that all I need to do now is be careful. I'm patient and not to rush. That car is alarmed. Let's run past it and not shoot it. We can cross over up here. We need to get into the building. I 
got a gun. Shit. Didn't even hear the hunter. Wasn't making a noise. Oh, that was a good quick melee. That's a top tip for you. A quick melee attack. Okay, so that's a top tip for you. A quick melee attack. A quick melee attack will incapac will stun a hunter. This works for jockeys as well. Hunters and jockeys will stop attacking if you hit them with a quick melee attack. That was a trick that I learned from Overwatch. As they did a sort of... As they did a Left 4 Dead inspired, ma inspired map um, for one of their archive events. Called, I think it was called Retribution. And it's called Retribution. One set in Italy. Where's right, a boomer? There it is. I absolutely do not want that boomer to blow up on me. Right, so what we need to do is we need to clear the area around this witch. We need to carefully, very carefully, clear the uh, clear the area around this witch. Uh, the witch won't attack unless provoked. This witch is arguably very lenient. Very lenient. So that up there is a uh, an audio system. A stereo. A stereo for the wedding. And uh, if anybody touches that and sets the music off, she will attack. Where is this boomer? Right. Okay, switch my light off first. Smoker somewhere. See it very carefully, very carefully. Clear the area. Very carefully clear the area around this witch. Okay, so I may have killed my teammates. So, gonna have to do this quickly. Oh, 
I really didn't want to shoot in that direction. Right. Light off. Give my best crouch. Okay, are we ready? Oh, fuck, that is a spitter. Let's lure the spitter away. I was going to go for it, but that spitter convinced me otherwise. Where is she? Right. So can't have anybody interrupt this. Right. Lights off. Okay. Let's, oh, no. Shit. Boomer. There he is. There he is. Definitely not having that go off. There's the, there's a smoker. So just that spitter to deal with. There it. There she is. Right. Yeah, sorry, Nick. I'll get you. I'll get you in a second. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. This is. A, I've only got one shot at this, and then I'll have to start again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking yes! Fucking yes! I am I am incredibly pleased with that. I don't I honestly I don't think I can tell you just how pleased I am with that. Just to remind you there is expert difficulty. First second attempt. I'm incredibly pleased with that. Um I'm Come on. Can I give you pills? Shit. Shit. Right. Okay. Right. It's enough. Right. See enough fucking about. Well, whatever. I. I. I don't care. I don't care. 